Good evening and welcome to Sancta News. Pope Francis has appointed Sister Natalie Beckhart from France as Under Secretary to the Synod of Bishops, the first woman appointed to the advisory role. Cardinal Gretsch, the General Secretary to the Bishops, said it shows the Pope's wish for greater participation of women in church decision making. Italian families should have more children. This is the message of Pope Francis on the 43rd Italian Day for Life. In Italy, births have declined and the future is in danger, he warned. He called on Italians to take this concern and to try to ensure that this demographic winter might come to an end and a new springtime of baby boys and girls might flourish. 1,091 unborn babies have been killed by abortion since March 2020 in Northern Ireland. The grim statistic was revealed in response to a question from Christopher Stalford, MLA for South Belfast, about abortion statistics to the Department of Health. In response, Philip Lynn, SPUC's Northern Ireland Development Officer said, the death toll is staggering. At a time when we are told that the NHS is struggling to cope with a major pandemic, somehow the resources are found to affect the wholesale slaughter of unborn children. In St Mary's Oscot today, the Requiem Mass of Canon Giles Goward, the Rector of St Mary's College Oscot, took place, celebrated by Archbishop Bernard Longley. Canon Goward died peacefully at the College on Thursday the 28th of January after a brief illness. He was 55 years old. Monsignor Hugh Bradley, the Administrator of the Archdiocese of Glasgow, will say the month's mind Mass for the late Archbishop Tartaglia. This can be viewed on the Cathedral webcam on Saturday, February the 13th at 1pm. And finally, to the Highlands, where a young Catholic organist has amassed over 50,000 views on his videos shared from his parish of St Mary's in Fort William. We spoke earlier to Kevin Cameron from Fort William, who has been taken aback by the global response. Obviously, the power of Facebook and sharing and everything um, it ended up reaching a lot of former parishioners, uh, expats who now live. Um, I've got a, a lady, Anne, who always tunes in from uh, Australia. Um, she, I think it's about four in the morning. Uh, she tunes in religiously every time I'm playing. Um, and I've got um, uh, quite a few people in Canada, uh, actually, uh, that tune in as well. There's a lady in Peru um, that watches as well. So a lot of these people have got connections to, um, to Scotland and the church here in Fort William. Um, so it's great. And it's, it's always great to see them catching up with uh, old friends and family members on my shows. So it starts off me performing in that and giving a wee song and a tune. Um, but then it ends up being a, quite a social occasion for a lot of people. They're checking on how, how everyone's doing and, and it's really nice to, to see that. If you want to watch Kevin's videos, you can follow the Facebook page Friends of St Mary's Fort William. Thank you for joining us this evening at Sancta News. Thank you.